Hi, I'm Adrian Salisbury. Welcome to another Ecamm tutorial video. In this one, we want to have a look at scenes. Now, this is something that I overlooked for a little while when I started with this. I thought it seemed a lot of trouble. Actually, I use it all the time now. It's brilliant. So let's jump in. So we've got our window at the top here for our scenes. You can also access them. We've only got just our default scene open at the minute. The easiest way for me to explain what scenes are is just to demonstrate how I can use them. So I can hit down here and add a new scene. And we're going to call this camera two. And uh, because by default, it seems to have changed over and picked up this second camera that I've got. Okay. Now to change between them, you've got to make sure that you're not ticking on the text area. You've got to actually hit the little icon over the view. So I ought to change this one back and call it camera one. Okay, camera one, camera two, let's add another one. And on this one, we might have both cameras. Uh, so while I'm in this view, I can do this and we've got our split. Let me just, that's bugging me that I'm not in the center of that view. Okay, so now I can jig between these scenes and I can go camera one, camera two, split. Now, where might this be useful? What about for an interview? My interviewee is gonna come in as another camera scene, as you'll see in another video. So I can choose this, maybe in the interview I wanna to talk together, maybe at a point I wanna put my interviewee on on their own, and maybe at the start and at the end, I wanna be on view without them being seen. So that might be a reason why you do this. Let's add another one and um, let's do screen share in this scene. So when I'm in here, I can tick and share my screen. I think I'm gonna just zoom that in a little bit actually there. Right, so that's my screen share. So again, so when you're doing a live, you don't wanna be thinking, oh, where's that screen? And is it gonna come in and bring that in? Um, it becomes very easy. And actually I've got shortcut keys here. So I just do the command key and one to go to camera one, command and two goes to camera two, three, and four, so that becomes really easy for me to use. I can choose whether I want picture in picture, maybe on one scene I want to have picture in picture and on another scene I don't wanna have it. Maybe on this camera view, I want to be able to bring the text in to sit underneath as a title. Now that brings me on to another point that we need to cover is overlays. Notice that it tells me here I've got no current overlays. When I go back to camera one, they're all sitting there. All of those ones that we've made in the previous videos that uh, my branding at the top of the screen and things like that won't appear in the next scene unless I tell it to. So notice that it says in the overlays, show in current scene, and then above that it says show in all scenes. So I can pick this up and I can drag it up to the top and now as I go between these scenes, it's available at the top there and it will either stay or I can turn it on and off in different scenes. Another way I like to use scenes is to add another one in here. And this is going to be my webinar in effect. Let me show you what I mean. I can also reposition the order of these as well if I want to. So in my webinar scene, I'm going to bring in this PDF. And look, this is how I can work through and in effect run through a webinar in here. So I can jump back between my camera view as I might do in a webinar, and then I can just jump between that one and back into here, carrying on playing my slides, and um, you know, back up to the bit at the end when I wanna talk. So get used to scenes, be creative, have a think how you can use them. They really do make your life easier when you're in a live and it's all kind of going and you just wanna know that you've got them queued up and ready in advance. The other way to access them is just to simply go down them in this drop down list here, which will always be sitting on the front. 